Hello everyone, uh, this YouTube video will show you how, did, how to determine the angle of inclination of a bent curve uh, knowing how fast the object moves, the car for example, what's the radius of that bent curve and the acceleration due to gravity. So this is the free body diagram that uh, I showed you how to construct in my previous YouTube video. And now let's go ahead and put the equations together based on the free body diagram and determine theta. Now the first thing we have to do once we finish the free body diagram and do the magnitude check, remember we checked that mg is equal in magnitude to n cosine theta because those forces must be balanced, um, is to pick our positive direction and I pick to the right for x to be positive and up for y to be positive. So then for the equations we are going to as always use Newton's second law of motion f net equals m times a. We are going to have an f net x uh, that is equal to m times a because the only unbalanced force we have is along the x-axis and our a will specifically be our centripetal acceleration, so ac. And for y, we have two forces, so f net y will have to be equal zero because these two forces are balanced. So let's go ahead and continue developing these equations. I'm going to continue with the y forces. We have two forces whose vector sum is zero, so add them up equal zero. Let's see what those two forces are. And cosine theta is positive. And mg is negative when we simplify this we end up having n cosine theta minus mg equals 0 or n cosine theta equals mg for the f net x we only have one force that must be equal to mac, and that one force is positive n sine theta. When we simplify this, we end up with n sine theta equals mac, but if you remember from, from lecture, the centripetal acceleration is v squared over r, the speed squared over the radius of the circle, so we can continue here by saying that n sine theta equals m v squared over r. So now we have these two equations in which we know v, we know r, and we know g. We do not know m, we do not know n, and we do not know theta. We need to calculate theta. So we would like to actually um, cancel out, uh, eliminate, n and m to be able to only focus on theta. So I will solve these two equations, the system of two equations, by dividing the left-hand sides and the right-hand sides because I see that if I do that, n will cancel out and m will cancel out. So let's go ahead and do that. n sine theta divided by n cosine theta so that's division of the left-hand sides equals division of the right-hand sides, which we have here m v squared over r, and here we have mg. So this is very nicely going to get help us get rid of the normal force and the mass of the object. Moreover, sine theta over cosine theta becomes a tangent theta equals v squared over rg. And to solve for theta, we are going to have to take an inverse tangent and say that theta equals tangent inverse v squared over rg. And that is our TBD. Thank you.